In this training video, we will show you how to add paperwork to pay your staff and freelance service providers. In order to pay people, USCED uses a specialized version of paperwork called the AP paperwork or accounts payable paperwork. USCED comes with two ready-made AP paperwork definitions, one called freelance pay and the other staff pay. You may modify these or add other AP paperwork definitions as needed. We're going to assume that the staff pay paperwork definition has already been added to the Human Resources Service line and that the freelance pay paperwork definition has already been added to all of the other service lines. Now let's find our favorite service provider and configure USCED to pay this person a nice hourly rate. Let's visit the paperwork screen for this service provider. Here, we can see that there is a freelance pay paperwork available to be added to this service provider. We will now click on the button with the big green plus icon. Everything shown here in this tab is what you would normally see for any regular paperwork. Let's go ahead and fill out the effective date and set the verified field to yes. If you look at the top of the panel, you'll notice that there's a new tab here called Accounts Payable. The reason this tab is showing up now is because in the paperwork definition for freelance pay, it has been tagged as being an accounts payable paperwork. Let's click on this tab and see what we've got. There are basically three sections in the accounts payable tab. The first section has four fields that control which assignments use this AP paperwork. The second section specifies the rates that this person would be paid for all of the possible differentials. And then the third section has two fields, which control the minimum build time and the billing increment. Going back to the first section, we can tell USCED exactly which assignments should use this paperwork to determine how much to pay the service provider. We do that by narrowing the scope to a specific pay region, a specific service line, a specific AP rate set, a specific service, or a combination of any of these. Let's restrict this AP paperwork to be applicable only to assignments under the Sign Language Interpreting Service line. Now, we are going to fill out the pay rate fields. Let's give our favorite service provider overpriced lawyer rates. For the last section, let's give this service provider a two hour minimum and a 15 minute billing increment. We are all done with this paperwork and so it is time to click on the Save Changes button. We have successfully created AP paperwork for this freelance service provider to pay for the sign language interpreting assignments performed by this individual. The process to add AP paperwork for staff service providers is identical.